Hey there, folks. Greg Shepard here, SNA Financial Services. I specialize in helping folks just like yourself over the country get the most out of that higher ed retirement plan. This video, uh, maybe it's more of a PSA. I don't know. I need to get something off my chest, maybe therapy session. Um, so let's do it this way. Um, you know, I've been doing this a long time. What, what I mean by that is I've been uh, helping folks like yourself for over 20 years, uh, mainly with the TIA, TIA stuff, but higher ed retirement plans in general. Now, especially when it comes to TIA, I basically see three types of, uh, let's call them investors, okay? Three types of, um, we'll stick with investors, okay? You got one that, um, and let me preface this. For those of you that know, that have, that, that have gotten in, into the weeds with TIA, you know it can be very, very complicated. Um, I've been doing this for over 20 years. I still get tripped up on a lot of this stuff. And you know the old adage, I've said it time and time again, you don't know what you don't know. And that certainly applies when it comes to TIA because there are a lot of strategies out there that you may not, um, that you don't know about. Okay, so <clears throat> with that being said, you got one type of investor with TIA, uh, one type of, type of participant with TIA that has, um, you know, just about as much knowledge as I do. Okay, they've been researching them, themselves on all the strategies, talk to TIA, maybe talk to me or some other independent advisor. Uh, familiar with higher ed retirement plans, but they've done research, uh, educated themselves over a number of years, webinars, seminars, um, you know, they enjoy these things, the, the, this financial puzzle, okay, and they've gathered information and they can make competent, competent decisions on their own. Rare breed, okay, rare breed. Um, second type of TIA participant, very common, very common, uh, somewhat familiar with lingos, the lingo with TIA. Um, knows enough to be dangerous, but doesn't know enough. Okay. Again, the old adage, don't know what you don't know and, um, can have conversations around the strategies they're in afforded to you with Tia, but again, doesn't not maybe super comfortable making those, uh, you know, triggering decisions on how to extract those monies in the most tax efficient ways, or maybe just creating liquidity within the accounts as well. Third participant, their type of participant with TIA, uh, very common, don't have a clue, <laughs> okay, uh, no fault, hey, if you're in that bucket, okay, those group, that group of people, you're not alone, it's not like a slight by any means, uh, you don't do this for a living, um, you know, you've, you've amassed hundreds of thousands of dollars, sometimes north of a million, and here you are retiring or separating service, and you uh, you know, need to make some decisions around how to liquidate these monies or extract income, and you don't know where to start, you're overwhelmed. And that kind of goes to the second bucket, <laughs> second group of people as well. Uh, a little overwhelmed, right? A lot of the lingo is difficult. And um, I'll tell you this, you know, I'm, not, I'm a little biased, of course, but I, it blows me away because I've talked to a lot of you folks in this third group um, trying to go about this themselves and making decisions that are not in your best interest, but you're, you're not, you don't know it. Okay. Uh, one of the, just real quick, I ran across someone the other day, uh, doing it themselves, a DIY or very, didn't want to pay anybody to help them out perfectly fine. Um, and I, and we did a screen share and I showed them, Hey, I just mentioned it. I, I saw it right there in front of me. I said, Hey, you, you, you are aware that you have Roth contributions in that voluntary account, right? No idea what I was talking about. They were getting ready to transfer Roth money over to a traditional rollover IRA. No, 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 no. That's going to cause all kinds of problems. Okay. That's just a, a drop in the bucket when it comes to examples of uh, things I've seen with those that really don't know what they're doing. Okay. Uh, what was I going to get at? Um, oh, so if you don't know what you're doing, by all means, you know, contact me. I'd be more than happy, you know, via email to give you my thoughts, you know, free of charge in that regard. Uh, see about coming on board as a client. Very that that that'll work as well. I'm not looking to get, I'm looking to help you all out. Uh, sincerely, I am. Now, um, one thing I've I let me kind of close with this. If nothing else comes to the top of my head, is for those of you um, reaching out to Tia to get help, perfectly fine. I encourage that. Okay, but no, uh, one of their go tos, the go to for Tia, is to try to not convince you. That's not the right word. Convince you to go to a lifetime income annuity option. Okay. That's what they want you to do. That could fit your situation. Most of the times it does not, but again, not investment advice. Everyone's different. 
Um, I tell you what, <clears throat> you know, um, I can't, you know, I coordinate with Tia all the time while I'm pointing my telephone there. Uh, I'm on the phone with them quite often to get forms and just talk about certain situations, certain strategies, uh, and make sure I got my ducks in a row. And again, I've been doing this for 20 years. Uh, some of the forms are outdated online, so uh, I can't get them online. So I have to call Tia in order to get some of these forms. But my point here is that uh, once I tell them, hey, I need ABC XYZ form because we're doing this strategy and it entails taking money to a contra company, in my case, Schwab, for a rollover IRA, we extract money from that. Uh, their number one, again, go to is, hey, have you talked to, uh, you know, Joe or John Smith here about the uh, lifetime income annuity option? Looks like they can extract or take, you know, 500 bucks a month from from their account here. And I say, hey, you know, we've already talked about it. So the, the um, what you can take away from that is that, again, they're going to lead they're going to lead right into that lifetime income annuity option. OK, um, but again, I. I what I want to get across for this video, if you don't know what you're doing, if you're overwhelmed, um, paying someone to help you out is kind of a drop in the bucket on some of the mistakes you might make unknowingly. It could cost you X dollars down the road continuously. Okay, and that's a very general statement, uh, but hopefully you get what I'm saying, okay? Uh, very, very big decisions that affect your financial future uh, left at your own devices might be um, not in your best interest, unbeknownst to you. Okay, folks, that's enough for today. Feel free to contact me, folks. Um, Information is down below. Greg Shepard, SNA Financial Services. Hey, go out and have a good one. All right, take care. Bye-bye.